I haven't made a video, I don't think, in like a week. That's unusual for me. But the more I'm looking into diet and looking into what we should be eating and watching the people that I've interviewed and watching some of the other people in the high carb community and watching some of this other diet stuff, the more I just feel like pulling away from it. Like it's just become such a weird group of humans that seem to have just this OCD over eating to the point where I just, I don't know if I want to put my, you know, my hat in the ring anymore. Like not that I'm not going to talk about that stuff, but there are other issues on this planet right now that are so much more pressing than diet is like <clears throat> i don't know here's a video that i saw the other day i think it is you the women who have had the most diabolical lies told to you how many of you are sitting here now about to cross this stage and are thinking about all the promotions and titles you are going to get in your career some of you may go on to lead successful careers in the world but i would venture to guess that the majority of you are most excited about your marriage and the children you will bring into this world these are his beliefs and he's welcome to them I don't have to believe him. This what? is um, someone who's practicing something called the traditional Latin yes. mass, yes. which is a divergent from the majority of Catholics. It's compared to being cult-like and extremists like some religions in the Middle East and Asia. <laughs> well, Sarah, Whoopi, everything that the man is saying have constantly been proven by, here's the word, data. Data is not belief. It's data. Married women with children are happier than those who are unmarried or those who are married and do not have children. And children with married biological parents tend to have better outcomes. So it's very sad that everything that was normal five minutes ago is now extreme in the eyes of modern liberalism and feminism. Toxic feminism. I call it toxic feminism. I bet TikTok won't like this. Zuckerberg won't like this. It's called toxic feminism because modern liberalism and toxic feminism is destroying the structure of family. And that's not an opinion or a belief. It's a fact. You know, they're, t they're talking about like completely destroying the family unit, the, the nucleus, the, the, what we built our entire existence on up until the last like 30 or 40 years. Like I've, I've been around long enough to watch this whole thing unfolding. To me, and after things that I've gone through this year in the past couple of months, Diet, while important, and I think, you know, if you really look at the Minnesota starvation study or whatever they, they called it, which I'm actually going to, I think I might actually buy the book and do a video about, not that I'm never going to talk about diet again, but the more I'm just really like, the, the things going on right now around us are just so much more pressing in my mind than what somebody's actually eating. Now, am I still doing, you know, the kind of quote modified uh, rice diet? Yes, I, I am doing the modified rice diet. I'm still, you know, into the health. I've been still doing my cellar sizer experiment that I'm doing. I, if maybe I did make a video last week, within the last week, because I, I think I talked about the mattress that I bought. So I bought a Japanese style mattress, a full it's like the largest bed I've had in a long time. I've been sleeping on that for the past, well, I got it on Thursday, so however long. It's been nice, right? So I am still that kind of fruitcake that's into, you know, super health and getting, you know, wellness and, and, and everything. And I'm actually going to be putting that towards something else, I think. Uh, if, if funding provides itself, but I wanted to do these experiments on myself before I go to somebody else. I need to be the examples before I go to somebody else and say, look, this has worked. This is what I've done. This is how everything has, this is, you know, you can watch it document it a little bit on, on YouTube here. I've got videos so you can see me before my before and after you could do this. But some of this other stuff that I'm watching is just like people don't know what gender they are anymore. Like they, in like the family unit thing to me is just, it's driving me crazy. And the dating world is just so bizarre to me. Like people don't date for marriage anymore they date just to i don't know why they do it and it's just 
I don't know. I've got a lot going on in my head. I've watched a lot go on this year. I've been through a decent amount of stuff this year and you can see it in my videos. You know, if you watch the videos from 2022, I'm, I'm definitely a different human being than I am right now. And I don't know if I'm any worse than I was or any better than I was. I don't know. It's kind of like the analogy I've used in the past that I got from Wayne Dyer. It's like a pair of running shorts with the elastic on it. And if you snap, you know, if you bring the elastic out for a certain point, it'll still snap back and there's still the shorts that you can wear. But if you st stretch it past a certain point and the elastic breaks, they're not shorts that could fit you anymore. They're not any better or worse than they were. They might just be like a, a rag that you can use for cleaning your car. I don't know. So they're not any, it's not any, you know, you're, they're still kind of the same thing, but not really the same thing. And I feel like that's what's happened to me over these last couple of years. And I've been maybe too much of a people pleaser in my own eyes. You know, I, I, I do have some of that that goes on the people pleasing stuff. And I just, I can't, I can't do that anymore at all it just i can't i can't do it like i'm not i just can't agree with a lot of what i've seen especially in this world this high carb this diet world it's, it's just a bunch of weird ass people myself included talking about stuff that you're only going to see in modern day era when there's so much time we have so much time on our hands i was watching something about uh like in 1940 the average calorie count was a little over 3000 right and now we've got and people if you look at video from 1940 it was it was hard to find a fat person and now when everybody's on 1500 calories wigged out hormones aren't working anymore don't know what sex you are anymore gender studies how how they're getting funding for that all because of i think it's all tied together like they got us terrified of sugar which if you go to other countries that don't have as much money they live on sugar and they're skinny and they're healthy right they, they got a higher population than we do and then you got this everything going on right now with this, this crazy it's got to have something to do with that because if you look at the minnesota starvation project or study or whatever the hell they called it these people went nuts when they were on they, they had these people on 1560 calories i think it was that is your average calorie count these days people who are trying to lose weight these people in the Minnesota starvation thing, they went crazy when they were eating 1,560 calories. They went crazy when they couldn't have sugar anymore and stuff like that. They went crazy. They went nuts. And so if you watch this, I think they're linked. Like if you, you know, it's not outside of the realm of possibilities that somebody saw this, that somebody saw how crazy they can make people and how controlled they could be. If they told you that you needed to eat 1,500 calories, the toddler calorie count back in 1940 was 1,900 calories. You got people trying to live now off 14 or 1,500 calories that are grown ass people. No wonder everybody's going nuts. Like, no, no wonder everybody's going crazy. And, and you got, you know, and I sound crazy right now because I'm like, I, I, I took the week off of doing everything last week. I did a bunch of yard work, I bought a bed and went to the beach and that was it and at, when i'm watching all of this and i i was st still watching youtube and reading and stuff like that and i'm like the whole world has gone crazy crazy you got people fighting over here about how much meat you should eat you got people like me over here t telling everybody to eat potatoes you got you know and rice and all this and you got everybody in between or just moderation moderation has never worked for anybody if you've got somebody who gets addicted to something very easily moderation is not going to work it's, it's not going to happen this is the people who are constantly on the yo-yo that you know like the moderation doesn't work you can fight with me in the comments section all you need to it's kind of like well i'm going to quit smoking but i'm going to have a cigarette on saturday right it's, it's okay so you're still smoking it's just on saturday so the more the more of this i've been really looking into and after that what's his that that tyson brinson whatever his name was the kicker for uh kansas city i 100 percent agree with that, that guy saying it. it's crazy
It's crazy what's going on these days. And I think one of the easiest ways to, to do this is to overwork people, underfeed people, tell them to overexercise because they're fat and pointless, overconsumption of everything, everything. We got people buying stuff to fill every need. When, if you really look at people, like this house, for example, was built in 1947. The house that I grew up in originally was built in 1899. There was hardly any closets. People didn't have a lot of stuff and they were happier than they are now. And their, their minimum food count was like a little over 3000. And that was for men and women because back in the day, men and women were pretty similar size. Women had a little bit more fat and men had a little bit more muscle. It's the way it's supposed to be. And now you got people trying to live on 1,400, 1,500 calories a day. I'm not going to do it. You know, you get people, I got people coming in on my comment section over the year. Well, you're too fat. You're obese, man. You look like the Michelin man. You should eat 1,400 calories and do two hours of calisthenics or whatever a day. I'm like, fuck you. I'm not doing that. I'd rather have my vitality and my, my thing working. Then eating 1,400 calories a day over here miserable like the rest of you who are making the comments in the comment section about how I should be eating 1,400 calories because you did it. I'm not doing it. Or about how Walter Kempner, ate, uh, he fed his people, oh, you were talking about the rice that he fed his people 4,800 4, calories a day and they lost weight. They had to do it the rest of their lives. They don't mention that. No one wants to do that shit. They were miserable. They, could, they were gaining the weight because he was destroying their metabolism. I don't know what these videos are going to be going on. I am, like I said, doing that seller sizer thing, but I swear this shit is connected. You make people crazy. You overdose on, I mean, how many people my age are on how many medications? I don't take a single damn one. I'm not going to the doctor. I, in my leg falls off, fine, I'll go. These people are crazy. It's got to be connected. They know. I mean, they saw it. They, they can read, right? They can read. When books are really hard to find, there's really usually a good reason for that. It's really hard to find this Minnesota starvation study. It really is. Why do you think that might be? Why do you think that what the China study found with a million people, we teach the opposite of now. Why do you think that might be? Why do you think that you got so many people so hardcore into this meat thing now? It's crazy. And those are the most vicious people you see in, in the comment section, other than the vegans who try and live off broccoli juice and whatever. Crazy stuff. Like when I am the normal one in the room, <laughs> we got some problems. We got some problems going on. But I'm the normal one in the room. I think if we just went back to where, where we were at when humans functioned, they knew what sex they were. They knew the family unit. And that everybody's going to be like, well, well, I know somebody that uh, their dad was terrible or like th this person, their, their mother. Meanwhile, the other 98% of the people made this shit work, right? But you got, we got to talk about that 2%. It's just like everything else is going on. So the over emotional people who you can control with that 2% talk, it's not me. I don't, you know, that little 2%, they can, you know, they can deal with it themselves. It's your lot. You made that bed. You could sleep in. I don't have to sleep in that bed. I know in the comment section, I'm going to go, well, you, you sound like you're, but what, what, I'm not. This is me. It's just how I am. I have just been kind of soft in some of these videos. It's just not who I am. Anyways, where these videos go from here, I don't know. I keep saying that. I like every video. I know I do. I say that in every single video. I'm aware. Because it's just like, how much of this can you talk about? You cut fat low and you eat. And that 3,000, and you know, here's the, th here's the other thing. That 3,000 calories that I'm talking about, some of these women were feeding their kids milkshakes for breakfast and they were skinny. Milkshakes. <laughs> like, what? What? And now, like, you look at a milkshake. I mean, it's not even milkshakes anymore. It's like powder that comes, like, in, in the swirled in water. Powder swir swirled in water and frozen. It's crazy. What are we doing? If you look at labels from other countries comparatively to America, uh, like, what are we eating? Uh, I don't know. I could go on and on. I think this is an update video. I don't even know what this video is about, but... It happened. Here we are. And yeah. 
So, uh, any comments, questions, leave them down below. I don't know if there will be on this one. Uh, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Oh, like, subscribe. If you made it this far, maybe share the video with somebody. I don't know. Or watch it again. That's it. Talk to you in the next one. Uh -huh. Thank you.